are driving what I think will be the best mod money can buy regarding F1 2023. This is the Formula Hybrid dropped by the guys over at Race Sim Studio and this of course is for Assetto Corsa. The mod is a yearly release and this is the new 23 version and oh my goodness me, this looks incredible. Now my intention for this video is to throw this car around Qatar. Before that, we're gonna jump into an overview and analyze and look at the car in detail, show you guys some of the features and what you're gonna get with this mod and why it's such great value for money. So guys, down below, you're gonna have timestamps Click to the part of the video that interests you the most, but we're gonna basically shake the car down and push it to the limit here at Qatar and see just how fast this car can go and also how fun this drive, which is kind of the main thing that I love about this mod. So as always in a Seto Corsa, we have the setup menu, which is fully customizable. Now for this one, we're gonna start out on the C1 tire, which is the hardest available. We'll run pretty much everything else default. We'll also turn down the engine to basically get used to the car and get comfortable with it. You can adjust the aero. One thing you can also do is the nose configuration and the aero configuration, which is really, really awesome. So let me show you what I mean. So first things first is gonna be the nose config, which is on zero. If we change it to one, it goes short, which is really, really awesome. I love these kind of details and I think it adds a lot to the mods. As for the aero config, if we currently change it from setting two, which seems to be the high downfalls, one gives us a bit of a a cut in the middle part of the wing and then zero is basically the Baku spec very slim wing so yeah this is really awesome guys these are the details that I love because it makes a genuine difference and you can also really mess around with setups and also just downforce packages depending on the circuit as always back to the setup we've got brake bias brake power I'm going to quickly adjust this down to 52 also drivetrain suspension alignments main dampers heave and then of course steering assist for force feedback reasons. Also extra visuals, like for example, the halo, which if we go to one, you can see it deletes the column, which is nice if you drive in cockpit view. We also have halo add-ons, like for example, the little aero fins on the side here. If you go to setting one, which I'm gonna keep. Also, you can change the antenna on the nose, which is an incredible level of detail to be fair. I'll keep it on zero for now. And also the windscreen, which currently does not exist. It's on zero, you can put one, which is a standard or two which is serrated. So I'm gonna leave it on two for this one. And uh, yeah, we're ready to go as there's no more setup settings to show you. So let's get into the shakedown. Onto the track for the first time. We're gonna see what she's like to drive. This is basically default settings and we're gonna try and see if we can get some tire temperature, which is gonna be tough on these tires and just try to build up the confidence and see if hopefully, you know, in a couple of laps time, we can start to really throw the car around. I chose this circuit because we're gonna see it on the candle later this year. And personally, I love it. It's a lot of fun to drive. It's one of those kind of really satisfying, you know, driving circuits where there's no real slow corners or fast corners. They're all nice medium speed and it's nice and flowing. If you get it all hooked up, it's really rewarding. So yeah, let's get to it and we'll see what this track has in store. First things first, little sound test for you guys to enjoy for the rest of the outlap. Right then, let's get the first lap on the board. We'll increase the engine mode slightly as we open DRS for the first time. Let's see what our banker can be. Tires are stone cold, so we're gonna have to be very careful. Turn one, go in fourth gear, get a lot of inside curb. A little bit of understeer on the wash out there. Turn two, we're gonna keep it in fourth. Not gonna trouble the apex, but we get the power down nice and early. Flat out through turn three. Now into four and five. 
I love the downshifting. Five is a bit tight, I've got to be careful there. Into six, which is probably the slowest corner on the track to be fair, the hairpin. And now into seven, which is uh, pretty long, right, longer than you think. Approx 100 degrees is not quite a hairpin, but it's uh, a medium speedish long right hander. We then head into eight, which is normally flat, but we're going to take a slight confidence lift. Nine, which is a bit like turn six, but a little bit quicker. And now we take a breather as we now head into the fast stuff. So 10, 11, 12, 13, it's all just some very fast corners back to back to back. Also trying to see how much I can push these curbs. This is the slowest one of the three. And then we head into the penultimate corner. Fifth gear, lovely stuff. And now the final corner, which we'll take in fourth. Always catches me out because it approaches a bit earlier than you think. And then square the car up. Up to the line we go. Open the DRS. And our first bank lap is going to be a 1 minute 31.1. So there we go. Do a few more laps here. And uh, we'll make some adjustments and we'll see how fast we can go in these kind of default settings. This car is a lot of fun to drive. Even on baseline settings on the slowest tyres and a full tank of fuel. It's so intuitive. Everything just works. It just feels right. You put the power down, car's predictable, you turn in, it does exactly what you want it to do. There's no real understeer or oversteer, it just feels like a car in the window as you'd expect it to be in real life F1, which is something they struggle to kind of get right in the F1 game, you know, the car always feels a bit sluggish. But yeah, this will do, this will be my last attempt on this kind of baseline setting, we get a 129.4, and that was a very nice lap, so we'll now get a set of mediums on, a set of C3 tyres, we'll take two steps down, start to dump the fuel, and just start to really push things a bit and see how fast we really go. Let's try and do a little bit of cockpit view. I think you guys might enjoy this. We've got a realistic neck effect or head movement, so it should be a lot of fun. Probably going be a bit too extreme, but anyway, I'll give you a bit of an idea as to you know what it could be like. You're going to see me completely tilt my head here to see where the hell I'm going, because especially when you go fast, the, the head movement does get pretty extreme. But for this run, we've uh, halved the fuel from 50 litres to 25, and we've now got the C3 medium tyre on. No other adjustments. Besides those, we're going to, for this video, keep things pretty baseline and just kind of, you know, enjoy the car for what it is. And the maximum we'll do is basically just, you know, change engine modes, brake bias, fuel, wings, and that's about it. So, yeah, I love this already, man. It's just one of the things where I could drive this all day and just do laps, 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 especially if you've got the right circuit to, you know, enjoy it on. I mean, Qatar for me is a circuit that I love. I loved it in motorbike racing, which I always, you know, enjoy driving on that game and now that F1 race is here I'm very happy about it so let's get to it and let's get the lap underway. Engine mode up to low which is what we was running before exact same settings on the engine mode we're not gonna really turn those up until we go for like a final kind of qualifying lap attempt but let's see now we're gonna start to cook car feels way more agile and nimble break at the 50 just about a little bit earlier than the 50 to be fair not quite going to trouble the apex through there, but now you're going to see me carry way more speed compared to that previous lap you saw me do. Just way more aggressive, the car is more agile. Nicely done. Wait, 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 that corner always catches me out. Apex is always earlier than I think. Into the hairpin, square up the corner, nice. Get the exit. Only a tenth up to be fair, not as much of an improvement as I thought. That final lap on the C1 with the tyre temp nicely warmed up made a big difference. Not quite flat flat through there, but we're getting there. Not quite getting the apex through there, but we're starting to really get those lines. This is where there's time to find, I think. And when the car gets faster and faster, we'll just become more and more aggressive through here. Nicely done. Oh, that was perfect. Really nice lap. Final corner. Get a late apex to score up the corner and get the drive out of there. Up to the line, let's see what this improved lap is going to be. I don't think it's going to be a massive improvement, but it'll be enough. 
28.3, so literally a full second shaved off. Lovely stuff. Right. How about we get some soft tyres on then, and uh, we'll see exactly how fast we can really go around here, because this is going to be a lot of fun. So here we go. Time for some proper qualifying runs. I've actually gone for the C4 tyre, not the C5, because I want to see how the temps behave. If, you know, they look okay, then we'll put the C5 tyre on, because I'm a little bit concerned about possibly overheating. So for this one, we're going to run a bit more engine mode. We'll go for high. We'll keep the MGOH for now in default. But this is going to be a bit more like it. So I had a little browse to have a look at Lewis's qualifying lap from 21. And it was a 120.8. So we're nowhere near that. But let's see how close we can really get. First proper lap now. In anger. So get Apex late through turn 1. Get the drive. Turn 2. Try to get the Apex down. Get the power down super early. He's all got run off as we head flat out through 3. Into 4. Break at the 50. Patient. Five. Wait a little bit and then turn in. Now into the hairpin at six. Try to go in a bit later to square up the corner, get that V line, and then drive out into seven. Again, another late, late apex you want to try and pick up here to get the exit absolutely spot on. Use all the runoff. Try to keep it in track limits as we head through eight. Slight confidence lift into nine. Get that apex down. And get the drive out of there beautifully. Now take a breather as we now approach 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, bit of a lift there, had to bounce over the curb, that's cost us a little bit of time. But we're starting to push it now. Come on to the corner. We're gonna keep it in sick this time. Oh, that wasn't great, a bit too much speed there, but you know what? We'll take it, final corner. Again, try to get that late apex. To drive out nicely, slowing and fast out is the name of the game around here. DRS up to the line, and we're going to get a 126, no, 27.1. Okay then, tyre temps look fine, they go a bit cold on the straight, so we can probably get away with a C5. And we're on 10 litres of fuel, so we're going to dump the fuel now to as low as possible, and we're going to get the C5 on, and we're going to see... Just how fast we can go. I'm also going to run my own kind of graphic settings, camera settings. We're going to basically make it as real life looking as possible. And we're going to see how fast we can really go. There we go, 125.8. I'm not gonna lie, that was my first attempt and I'm very, very happy with that lap. I actually nailed that first time. So, yeah guys, what a car, I love this. This is so much fun to drive. Now, I'll give you an extra in this video. I'll show you my camera settings and how I've done this, basically this setup. I get asked every single video and I might actually put this up as a short later on, but yeah, I'll give you guys a little secret. So before that, just to confirm the setup that I ran in that hot lap. So tires were the C5s on default pressures. I ran six liters of fuel. Electronics were set to attack and motor. Everything else default. 
aero 0100 again complete default brakes on 52 and then the rest of the setup is complete default except for visuals which i have on 0102 so you're probably wondering and i'm going to actually do this on purpose so i'm going to get rid of the post editing and you can see the borders around my screen this is how i get the fisheye effect which you guys constantly ask me about so how do i do this it's very simple so let's first of all put the default settings back on so as you can see i'm now back on what i was using before and i've changed the camera because you have to change it for the fisheye to look the way you want it to look so first things first are the camera settings that i'm running for this so if you scroll over to the right side of the screen and go to camera editor i have as you can see 65 on the field of view and that is all I've changed pretty much. Just basically bring the camera back and expand the field of view, which is really important. So with that said, what you're gonna do is close the camera editor and we're gonna open up post process filter. Now then I have one currently installed called Premiere, which I downloaded once upon a time. There's loads of these available on Race Department. If you haven't seen them guys, check out you know, Race Department, go on there and check out the filters. But yeah, in the miscellaneous section, you'll find a selection. I have a few of them here on my game. As you can see, I've got Soul, A3PP. I've also got uh, Dark is the Night, Dust to Dusk, Exquisite. I've got a few going on. So yeah, Premiere is currently what we're on right now. We're gonna go to Soul, which is what I'm using. And we're gonna go for We'll go for Soul Extra Rain Hard for this one as a baseline. Now you're going to go on the name and what you're going to do is right click on it and you're going to go to View in Explorer. So click on that. Now what that does is open up a folder outside the game. So we have the file select here. What you're going to do is basically right click on it. You're going to click copy and then just paste it and it's gonna give you a copy, basically a, a backup. So you're basically keeping the original version and you're building off that one. So once you have your copy, you can rename it to whatever you want. So I'm just gonna call this one, uh, we're gonna call it test. So there we go. You then go back into the game, drop down menu. And as you can see, we now have one called test. So click on that one and we're now running this test version. So now is when you can get creative with it. So right click on test and go to edit and you'll get a drop down menu open up and to enable kind of fisheye camera effect like real life, you go to lens distortion and you go to enable lens distortion. Then you get rid of the roundness and there you go, save changes and you're good to go. Now, like I said, you've got the borders, which I always remove in post editing. You can then of course mess around, you know, in general, you can mess around in color, exposure, all these things, tone mapping. When you've got half hour, and basically try to make a filter as realistic as possible. Like literally you've got all these settings, you know, glare, depth of field, sun rays, all of this stuff. You can basically mess around with it. And yeah, eventually I got to the point where I landed on Soul which I made my own basically, which is what I use for the hot lap. So guys, there you go. That is today's video, which is the Formula Hybrid 2023. Honestly, a work of art, really, really high quality mod. And when these mods come around, it's worth paying for because you're gonna get that real quality in terms of handling, sounds, design, and all the details which us F1 fans love. So yeah, guys, check it out. Link down below to their page. Show them some love. And uh, yeah, I'll also leave a link to the circuit for you guys to drive if you wanna pair this combo together if you want to try and beat my lap feel free and yeah you've seen that video now you've seen the settings i run all my graphic settings and basically you know run free and see what you can do if you have a set of course or on pc give it a go and let me know what you think guys but yeah that is it for today's video leave a like subscribe it really helps me out guys just try and you know get me to 100k i really want to try and get this year and i really really mean it i want to try and see if i can achieve that goal which i've been chasing for years and uh, yeah as always a big shout out to the channel members guys for supporting the channel and the content as always check out the two videos on screen and i'll see you guys in the next one until then take care and let's goodbye from me